evening. Welcome back to Golden Acres. So we got our grapevine weeded around, weed eated. So it looks much better. It is turning color so fast. It's just absolutely beautiful. And there are so many grapes, but they're teeny tiny. I am going to ask when I go up to the Amish store this week, if I can take a picture and I'll insert that picture uh, of their grapes to do a slight size comparison. And when their grapes are ready and they, if they have any for sale, I'll pick them up and do a size comparison then too. But like, it is a pretty nice like grapevine and it's not as old as I thought it was based on how big this stock is. It's really low because it's bent and it's hard to see. But it's not as old as I thought it was because I was like, the grapes can live 50 100 years. This was built in 86. Like, it's not that old of a homestead. And I will come out later because it's getting dark. But there's grapes in the tree. <laughs> there's grapes in the tree. It's so funny. Yeah, we're gonna, we'll be fighting the birds a little bit. They've been kind of hanging out over here as the grapes get um, ripened. And there's some poison ivy in the grapes, so I have to be a little bit careful there. But trimming it down should kill the poison because it is a shade loving uh, nuisance. So that'll be good. So I'll come out here later and we will have a much longer video on it and the grape brines when they get ripe but now I'll come out here when it's brighter and I will get good shots of the grapes up in that tree <laughs> and I think it's so funny and then I will probably talk about my pruning plants because I kind of haven't figured them out yet but there's some obvious ones that the pruning is going to have to be one very strict and heavy and then I will probably try to take some of those pruning bits and propagate them and get some more grapevines because I think it would be really pretty to have grapes up and down the driveway. Andrew wants pine trees, I want grapes. He thinks it would be beautiful to have pine trees on both sides and move that fence back. Let us know what you think in the comments. Alright, I'll come back out in the morning. Yep, we can see the train. Back out here in the morning, gonna check out these grapes, see how they're growing. I am on our neighbor's side of the fence and I did talk to them. So we're splitting it like right on the property line. So this is technically the neighbor's side of the property. This is not grapes we'll be harvesting, but of course I'm allowed to show you guys an out of control grapevine climbing up their tree. All right, and this grapevine here is right at, I would say my shoulder level. I'm 5'4". Let me come up a little bit further. There's grapes up there, up there. And now we're well out of reach. But if you look, and it's hard to see with the sun, there are grapes in the very top of that tree, and I will take a picture and insert it here. So yeah, that's how crazy this grapevine has gotten. There's just, they're everywhere. They're along this fence over here, and this is, this fence here is the property line. Out of the grapes, boys! There, there's poison in the grapes back out. We have poison ivy in our grapes. So you can see a lot of grapes there. So those will all be go to the neighbors. And here, they're probably only gonna come up once or twice because these grapes, hi buddy. These grapes are gonna mature at very different rates because of the amount of shading we've had. So we'll come back out when they're ready to harvest them. 
Are you just gonna love on me, buddy? He wants you. He is. He's my buddy. Yeah. All right, Sunny. Some of these grapes don't look good. So we'll see. I'm probably going to pull these dying ones off so the vine isn't trying to support those. And we'll prune in the spring. But these over here, these will probably do better. The ones near the main vine. They all look way, way better. Granted, they're a little bit bigger. They're also a little bit bug eaten. Hello. We have kids and cats. Go away, flies. So, yeah. We'll see how the grapes do. They were an accidental find anyway for this year. Morning. Welcome back. All right, today I want to talk about how we're planning on pruning. So first I'll go over what are the different types of pruning. So you have, if I don't leave my papers outside, might be hard to see. That is um, spur pruning. And I colored it. This is how I was doing it for myself to explain to myself and color cord it and get a visual. Because there's lots of great stuff on Pinterest and on YouTube. But I really needed one to draw with my own hand and two to color coordinate it. And I apparently only have kind of pastel y pens. So the green. Or the green. The yellow is supports. The purple is three year or older spots. Blue represents two years or and then the pink in represents new growth or first year growth. So that's called spur pruning. This is the method they suggest for beginners. On the reverse, I have cane pruning. So you have, instead of a established support vine that goes across the supports, you switch it for a second year cane every single year, and you allow that to go. These smaller pink spots represent what you're preparing for the new cane next year, which of course will grow longer than I have shown. All right, so that's what the goal to get to is. Hi, May. You always come up when they're out. Sit right there. All right, so ours is one also on the property line, so we have to take in consideration what our neighbors want. They have grapevines up at their house, so it's not like these are the only grapevines they have. The roots are on our side. So definitely want to talk to them about not killing their tree because there are grapes in the tree. I want to talk to them on how they prune their other grapes because of course this is a, the same variety that they've been growing for years. I'm getting a mom, mom, mom. All right, I'm back. There's a very, very important map that I must have had to see. It was very orange. <laughs> All right, so this is kind of what our grapevines look like right now. They're a little crazy. Their supports go everywhere. We've had to add a support, which we can go see. And this isn't an exact representation. This is me drawing on my kitchen table and just like, this is kind of what my grapevine looks like and how crazy it is and being able to compare and contrast but yeah, there's a lot, a lot more blue and it's all crazy. There's a lot more purple and it's 
that's why our grapes are so much smaller than everyone else's. I've not been able to get up to the neighbors on a nice enough day to get a picture of their grapevines, but I will keep that. I will do a size comparison on Instagram for that. I have a cat that's joined me and has decided to leave my leg as if her life depended on it. But let's, let's go take off and get one last look at the grapevines for this video and then the next time you'll see them will probably be harvest. They are starting to get sweet. They're starting to turn purple, finally. Like, they, as soon as we got them cleared up, they became that kind of reddish maroon color and then they kind of stagnated for a while again. Andrew was sure that we were going to be harvesting grapevines with the weekend. Ow! You are not a nice cat. But, nope, we're going to probably next week, I would say. You were not very really nice. Here are the grapes. Some of the ones that were close look like they've gotten a little bird bit. Of course it won't focus on it for me. There we go. So yeah, they're a little bird bit and bug eaten. We haven't sprayed them with anything, so it's not super surprising. But they're just coming up to that nice purple color. Next year, I'll get leftover Christmas ornaments and that deep purple, and we'll put those up right before things start to blush. So then the birds learn that this is not friendly. I have just a bunch on the ground now that have fallen. But things were definitely going to shorten. I think this whole branch is going to be coming off. Those aren't, there's not very many grapes there anymore. But then there's nothing in the center. So we're going to go ahead and take that off for shorezies. And then we'll just sort of prune with the heart for the rest of it. Thank you for coming along on this journey with me. Have a wonderful day and God bless.